Kling AI has just released its new 1.5 model, bringing major updates like 1080 PhD videos, 10 second image to video outputs, a motion brush feature, the ability to generate up to four videos simultaneously, improved prompt adherence for video generation, and resolution enhancements for AI images. It also comes with a comprehensive Kling AI guide. Here are some example videos from the website, both using the same prompt with one generated by the first model and the other by the new 1.5 version. Both videos turned out well, but the one on the right is noticeably brighter and shows more detail in the woman's appearance. The same goes for these other videos. There's a clear improvement in quality in the 1.5 version. These videos were showcased to illustrate improved motion rationalization, but I don't see a significant difference. However, the video on the right does stand out with more detail in both the man and the spaghetti, thanks to its 1080p HD quality. The prompt for this video asked the characters to be dancing. In the 1.0 model, they weren't dancing at all. In fact, it looked more like they were about to kiss. But in the new model, they're actually dancing, demonstrating a much better understanding of the prompt. Now that we've reviewed Kling's video examples, let's try generating some of our own. To switch between models, you can go here, but we'll keep it set to 1.5. There's also a new option to generate up to four videos at once, though the more videos you choose, the more credits it will cost. Note that the camera movements feature is disabled in this model. Lastly, under the image to video tab in version 1.5, the end frame and new motion brush options are also disabled. First, I'll generate videos using the text to video tool starting with model 1.0 and then model 1.5. Both videos will be 10 seconds long in professional mode with default settings. Here are the results. Both videos look good, but I find the 1.5 model's output superior. The quality is sharper and the background is brighter, though that's not necessarily better in every case. The 1.5 model also has better prompt adherence. For instance, both models did well with the attire, but 1.5 included a hood, as I specified. There's also an interesting difference with the cat. In the first video, it walks like a real cat, while in the second video, it walks upright and resembles a medieval warrior. Both models captured the moment where the cat pauses and looks around. In 1.0, the cat completely stops before looking around while in 1.5 it slows down but doesn't fully stop. Both models handled the medieval setting well, but the 1.5 model was more accurate. It included waving banners on the buildings, which I had asked for, but the 1.0 model didn't. Overall, I think the video generated by model 1.5 looks better and adheres more closely to the prompt. Here are some additional videos I generated. Next, let's try the image to video tool. I'll use an image I created in Leonardo AI, and this time I won't include a prompt. Previously, the image to video tool was limited to five second videos, but now it can generate 10 second videos, though this does require more credits. I'll also include a negative prompt to help minimize morphing and bad animations. Here are the results from both models. Honestly, I don't see a significant improvement in the 1.5 model compared to the 1.0 model. What do you think? You might remember this video from one of my previous Kling tutorials where I prompted for an anime style and got this result. Now let's test if the new model delivers a better outcome. The improvement in overall quality and the anime style is clear. However, it's not perfect. I asked for three characters but only got two. That could be an issue with my prompt. Another great update is the motion brush feature which is available only in the image to video tool in the 1.0 model. 
I'll use an image from my history to demonstrate. After selecting your image, you can access the motion brush here. This is the brush interface where you can add up to six brush movements, each represented by a different color. First, select an area by drawing over it with the brush, and you can adjust the brush size as needed. You can also enable auto segmentation to automatically select an area by clicking on it. Once the area is selected, click on track and draw the motion path directly on the image. Additionally, you can mark areas to remain static using this option. You have options to reset individual brushes, undo or redo actions, or reset the entire canvas. When you're finished, simply click Confirm. After confirming, you'll be taken back to the Video Generator interface, where you can adjust any other settings as needed. Keep in mind that with the Motion Brush, you can only generate five second videos. Here's the result. Most of the motions followed my drawings except for the deer, which didn't move forward as intended. I'll try selecting just the deer's legs this time. Also, you'll notice the camera is moving. I'll fix that by selecting the background to remain static. Now the deer moves forward and the background stays still. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the videos. There are noticeable differences in the movements, like with the mushroom. The motion I drew should make it move up and down. In the first video, the entire mushroom jumps, but in the second, only the mushroom cap moves up and down, which feels more natural. There have been even more recent updates, including lip sync a new community section where you can share your work and potentially earn up to 666 inspirational credits and full access to the API platform without a waitlist. I'm excited to try out the new Lip Sync tool. According to the documentation, you can upload voiceovers or songs and it will perfectly sync the character's lip movements to the audio. This tool works with both models, but it's only available for videos created in Kling and can only be used on 2D or 3D human characters, not animals. Here are some videos showcased on Kling's website. Kling AI's lip sync function is now live. Come and try it out. Kling AI, where dreams are made real. With every frame, a story to reveal. To use the tool, you first need a video that shows your character's full face. I'll use this video. Click on the Match Mouth Type button located below the video. Kling will then try to detect a face. If it can't, the video can't be used. Since it detected a face, I'll upload an audio file. I created one using 11 labs. The video is 10 seconds long, but my audio is longer, so I have a few options. Let Kling automatically crop the end of the audio, manually crop it in Kling, regenerate a shorter audio file in 11 labs, or extend the video by 5 seconds to make it longer than the audio's length. I'll let Kling crop the audio. It will cost 10 credits to generate the video. Once the video finishes generating, you have the option to redub it if you're not satisfied. Also, Take note of the paper airplane icon. This allows you to publish your video to the community where you could earn extra credits. Any video or image you generate can be shared with the community. Here's the final result. Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Just thought I'd take you along on my little walk today. You know, sometimes you just need to get out of the house, clear your head and just walk. These updates are impressive. In most of the comparisons, I've noticed a clear improvement in both video quality and prompt accuracy with the new model. 
The motion brush feature is a game changer, making Kling even more competitive with platforms like Runway. The lip sync tool is also great, though one downside is that you need to create a video first and then use that video for the lip sync. It would be even better if you could generate lip sync directly from an image or integrate the audio into the video creation from the start. What do you think of the new updates? Please share your comments below and let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.